Okay, what we want to do is take this vector and break it into its x and y components. The way we do that, we have the vector here, and we put our x and y axis at the beginning of the vector, like that. This is the positive x axis, this is the positive y axis. Then what we want to do is we want to create a triangle with this, where the vector is the hypotenuse. So I'm going to make a triangle, it's going to be a right angle triangle, and i got my two sides like this. I double check that this is parallel with the x-axis and this is parallel with the y-axis, so I have the right triangle. I also want to make sure I have the direction of the arrows correct. The start of the vector is here, the end of the vector is there. So my arrows must go from start to finish in a continuous path. So this goes there, this must be to the right, and this must be up. Now I need to calculate the magnitude of these two components. And that's quite easy. We're going to memorize that the, uh, if this is 30 degrees here, that the adjacent side is going to be my cosine. So this will be the vector 8 times the cosine of 30 degrees. So my AX is going to be 6.9. It's to the right, which is positive. My Y side, it's the sine side. So what I remember is it's going to be 8 sine 30. So AY is going to be 8 sine 30 is 4. And it's to the right, so it's, or it's up, so it's positive. So my AX is positive 6.9. My AY is positive 4. Now I have the two components. I've checked them that they've got the sign, and the sign is correct to the right. So X is positive, up. Y is positive, I'm done. I have the two components of this vector.